Hey y'all. Um, I'm looking at all of this commentaries and things that are sort of going on, especially in our political system, secondly in our church, and my heart is very, very heavy to the point that the country is not just in a divided state. We are in a state of emergency as it relates to morality. Everyone is continuously attacking one another about things of integrity. The nation has turned their back on God. The church is not supporting righteousness and they're not supporting what is right and the church leaders are not being the leaders that Christ have called them to be and my heart is just heavy because I'm seeing fights in the church community divided with community and and, and our political system you got one candidate that's pretty much no better than the other. When we look at these emails and the email scandal of Hillary Clinton, I believe that Hillary just need to come out and be candid about these emails and state once and for all what she done and what was not done by her and and just own up to the truth. The Bible tells us that we should know the truth when we hear it and the truth should make us free. Even if it costs her the election, she should come out with the truth. We look at the discussion concerning these emails, we find that, you know, there is a lot of obstruction going on there's a lot of misrepresentation of the truth and there's a lot of that going on uh, folks and and I believe that the only way they could clear this up is go to the horse's mouth let's be honest all of us get emails and I believe ultimately there is no threat of national security here there is no threat of the safety of the American people here I believe it's just a violation of error of judgment as it relates to these emails and first and foremost her setting up a personal server to do emails and then the pot called the kettle black the Republican parties always speak about the proprieties of one individual when we begin to open up their closet how many skeletons is we gonna come gonna come out of the Republican Party's closet you know when we look at these emails uh, I'm, I'm, I'm as American voter I'm just really sick of hearing about it if it does not violate the national security it does not violate the, the safety of this country then this should be an issue that should be put away Comey I believe Comey uh, uh, he's operated in obstruction of justice and the reason being not because he's investigating the emails or whatever he came out with a statement that he's reopening the investigation to this case before he was even authorized by his boss and secondly his boss told him not to do it and then thirdly he hadn't even got a warrant to even look at the evidence or the preponderance of the evidence before he actually came out to speak concerning the evidence and that is very unorthodox as a prosecutor typically a prosecutor never issues any statements 
or issues any information to the to the public until they have a concrete evidence of that. And if they don't have concrete evidence, then they don't issue any comments on an ongoing investigation. And to me, this was a way to obstruct the election process and taint the American people's decision making of a president of the United States. Because again, we don't know what's in these emails. It's, they say it's 600,000 600, plus emails. I get emails all day long in my service. Some of them I open, some of them I don't. And one thing about it is we we could charge Hillary Clinton for using a private server. Yes, that's true. And, 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 and the evidence show that clearly. But we cannot charge her with a violation of international law. Uh, nor can we charge her with a violation of what somebody else do with their own computers. Umba uh, and her husband, a whiner, whatever they've done with their computers, that should not be an issue as it relates to Hillary Clinton. I believe that Kuma is operating unethically as a prosecutor. And first of all, you don't let the cat out of the bag until you actually see the cat. And he never saw the cat. He never got even a warrant to look at any emails for the potential of them being a violation of national security or an, a, 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 an attempt of any criminal action as it relates to Hillary. He just automatically ran gun hole and sent a letter to Congress and knowing that Congress was going to release the letter, which is a Republican Congress, they're going to release the letter to the media and the media was going, going to release the, uh, that letter, same letter to the American people because Congress just basically don't want Hillary in the office. Now, my thing is, is if we're going to investigate emails and the reason why the FBI is investigating Weiner is because of his texting, um, scandal of underage minor, then why is it that F the FBI is not investigating Trump as to the allegations that is right now currently in court stating that he allegedly raped a 13-year-old minor and is now in court? Why? If he's going to run for the president of the United States, and we're going to let this man in office, then that should become an issue. It should be investigated no different than the emails of Hillary Clinton. It's our responsibility as the public to know uh, not only what Hillary has done in the foundation, what Hillary has done in the emails, but it's also our it's also the uh, Justice Department's responsibility to let us know what Donald Trump has done. One, with his taxes that he refused to, to release. Because, one, he's done some treasonous behavior with openly admitting that he supports Vladimir Putin, with, which is an enemy to the United States. So apparently he's been doing business deals with Vladimir Putin. So his, his life should be investigated just like Hillary. We cannot have in this country a double standard. And if we are to do things ethically and right, Donald Trump should be investigated just like Hillary. I believe Hillary emails should be investigated of an obstruction of justice, of, uh, of a violation of national security or international uh, of violation of the law. I believe wholeheartedly. And if she's committed a crime, I believe that she should be charged with the crime. 
But just like we want to investigate her, we should also investigate Trump. Because we invest, the FBI is investigating Weiner for his alleged acts of texting a minor or sexting a minor. But Trump has actually came out openly admitting that he's groped women and that he's grabbed women inappropriately. And then we've had 11 women that have came out against him saying that that is exactly what he's done to them. But yet, why is that not in CNN? Fox News, why are you not reporting on that? Why are you not digging in investigative reporting as it relates to that? Because if you're going to charge one person for a crime, another person have committed a crime too. And Trump can lie up and down about this situation. The reason why he's not launching a lawsuit against these women that have accused him till after the election, because he want immunity. He know if he get in the, uh, the, the seat of the presidency, they cannot prosecute him as president of the United States without doing an impeachment. And if it was prior to him entering the office, they still can't that they still can't be prosecuted unless they impeach him first. And that's a long drawn out process and then there's a chance that he won't be impeached. That's why he don't want to sue these women until after the election because he don't want this situation to become a national incident. He don't want his proprieties and his life to come out in the media because he got too many of you people that are Trump supporters fooled by his actions. And one thing about it, you all have believed everything this man has said. He have not came out with any directives as to what he really going to do in office. All he's done is use words and terms that is going to be great, it's going to be beautiful, it's going to be bigly, and all of those different things. And you all, as American people, are eating it up. I'm not fooled by him. I've seen his kind many, many times. He's a liar, and he's not to be trusted. And I believe that if Hillary Clinton going to be investigated and they're going to reopen the investigation to her emails then i believe they should look into the proprieties of every politician that's in office to see if they have used a private email service because if this has become a common thing then we must make sure that we if, if, if this became a common thing then we must make sure that everybody has to, one, pay the piper. If they broke the law, everybody should be responsible for the law. And that is my statement on this situation, is that I believe Donald Trump should be investigated concerning his alleged actions, and I believe Hillary Clinton should be investigated if they have found evidence that she have broke the law and that if anyone have broke the law, they need to be punished by the law. And as far as the issues with the church, why are you coming in church? Church is not the place to protest. If you're going to protest, protest outside the church, but don't come into the house of the Lord acting a fool. It's stupid. Why is it that black people don't never protest on the things that we should protest about? Why is it that I ain't heard from Black Lives Matter as it relates to the campaign and Donald Trump and, and, and Hillary Clinton? I have not heard from them. I have not heard from the NAACP concerning this. But yet, these are the people that's constantly making decisions and constantly putting laws on the book that affect our community. And yet we have nothing to say about that. And we want to do stupid and dumb protests, which has no maturity of changing laws. We don't vote. We don't vote in the primaries. 
where we should vote in the primaries, then we complain about the laws that are on the books. How is we going to make any changes if we don't if we don't change it by the vote? We got to stop doing stupid things to try to get attention to ourselves and 15 minutes of fame while our neighborhoods and our communities are in an uproar. Our neighborhoods and our families and our communities are, 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 are in poverty. We don't have jobs that we need to have so our young people get off these streets and stop walking the streets begging. We, those are the issues that we need to be talking about as African Americans because I'm not going to vote for somebody that I don't know what their business dealings is. I don't know nothing about Trump. Trump have not disclosed anything about himself. And so the thing is, is that that's what we need to do as a country and as a nation. We need to really come together and really think about that this election is going to determine the future of this country for the next eight years, 10 years even sometimes 15, 20 years. God bless you. And this is yours truly, Apostle Armand Trotter. Bye-bye.